to watch what happens next. They will be focusing on giant detectors, a bit like this. They're like large digital cameras, much larger than this, actually. Inside, they recreate the conditions that existed. They think a billionth of a second or so. Don't know how they can be so accurate after the universe was created. And this will happen up to 600 million times a second. And during these collisions, the energies released will create new particles, some of which haven't been seen since the Big Bang itself. Now, that's the theory, and by doing this, they're hoping to find the elusive Higgs boson, the most crucial particle to our understanding of the universe. It gives mass, the Higgs boson, to all other particles, and some say it could be the key to answering how the universe is actually made. Well, the man behind the so-called God particle, Professor Peter Higgs, today scoffed at concerns the experiment would destroy life as we know it. Breast is that things like mini black holes would be produced. And, w and of course, we all know that black holes gobble up uh, parts of the universe, but those are colossal black holes out, out in the middle of the galaxy. These are mini black holes which may be sort of similar in some sense, but they're, they're extremely small and they evaporate quickly. Uh, and people, when they think they might produce mini black holes, do computer simulations to find out just what, what they... The world's most powerful physics experiment has got underway. International physicists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, that's CERN, are trying to reenact the Big Bang. What does that all mean? How does it work? Well, the BBC science correspondent Jonathan Amos explains what they're trying to do. The biggest scientific questions often require the biggest experiments to answer them, and nothing surpasses the scale of the Large Hadron Collider. This colossal machine is sighted in Europe, right on the Swiss-French border. But walking on the surface, you wouldn't know it. The LHC is actually to be found deep underground. It's built in the shape of a 27-kilometer ring. Now, to work properly, it's cooled to temperatures you won't even find in space. And it's through this frigid tube that scientists will fire beams of protons, the tiny particles found inside all atoms. It will require exquisite control. The protons will be moving so fast, they'll carry as much energy as an aircraft carrier traveling at 50 kilometers per hour. Opposing beams will be made to collide in front of detectors. And it's in this particle wreckage that we should see the conditions that prevailed in the universe just moments after the Big Bang. So what new physics will emerge? Well, the machine should answer one very simple question. What is mass? Amazingly, we can't currently explain why things like you and me and the stars and planets are heavy. Scientists will also want to test whether the minuscule particles said to make up all matter are just that, or is there an even smaller domain made up of vibrating string-like objects that some have suggested. Many physicists think the LHC could turn up some really mind-bending results, showing us invisible corners of the cosmos, beyond what we know from everyday experience. One way we might see these extra dimensions is by creating mini black holes in the machine. Now, don't worry that we'll all get sucked in. Physicists are confident that the holes should evaporate almost as soon as they're made. And there he was, gone. We are at least sucked into the excitement. Uh, with me in the studio is Dr. Main motivation, which is, which is pure scientific discovery, um, there's also likely to be many spin-offs. I mean, people, I think, have already mentioned many times that in fact, the World Wide Web was, um, was originally uh, conceived in, in, at CERN in Geneva as a, as a spin-off of particle physics research. And, and it's always been the case that this fundamental research has led to important results. Um, back in the uh, late 19th century, um, the, the discovery of the electron, uh, which sort of was the forerunner of particle physics, if you like, um, that, that discovery was thought to be useless. And yet now, all of our modern electronics, computers, the internet, everything is based around that discovery. So, so really, the, the evidence is there to show that really these, this kind of fundamental research is vitally important, not just for our understanding of, of how the universe works and our place in it, but also uh, in actually improving our, our lives.